Hi, I'm Pete Moores, Chief Problem Solver here at PBM Consulting. This is my guide to navigating the landscape of different types of funding that are out there in order to secure the commercial success of your innovation. Let's start with the most well-known, bootstrapping. Financing of your innovation through your personal investments and those from what we call FFF, friends, family, and fools. I always recommend that innovators look at sources of grant funding available in their region. First of all, this type of non-dilutive funding where equity in your company is not exchanged for the funding you're receiving is the ideal first step. The key to securing grant funding is to configure your proposal in a way that clearly demonstrates how it achieves the objectives of the particular funder. From the stage of proof of concept prototype onwards, you've got access to a number of accelerators, which can sometimes provide funding, but more importantly, provide the support to advance your idea into a proposition that can attract the interest of risk-taking investors and customers. A source of funding which is becoming increasingly important for B2C businesses are crowdfunding. And there are two very different types of crowdfunding and two distinctive times to use them in an innovation's life cycle. The first is product-based, which generally occurs here between TRL three and four. This is where you've got a great idea that appeals to lots of customers, and they are investing small amounts of funding to secure the development or to purchase an early stage prototype version of your technology at a discounted price. The second type of crowdfunding is equity-based, which is good for those who have a great business of relevance to lots of customers, because this time they're not buying into receiving an early stage version of the product, they'll be evaluating your public plans for the growth of your business. Corporate financing is suitable for some ventures when an innovation is aligned with the direct needs of a corporation. Business angels provide personal capital, expert support and resources to grow a business that aligns with areas of their personal interest and experience. And often their access to networks and distribution channels are as important as the money that they're providing. The next stage, or which is typically used by more mature businesses, is debt financing. Now, currently, banks are reluctant to lend to innovative ventures, as they typically, at an early stage, lack the collateral to secure the loan, although there are developments in this area. As the technology develops and evidence of market need becomes clearer, this type of funding is also non-dilutive. And the final source of funding, venture capital, should really be the last port of call for those businesses that have a proven offer in the market, a rapidly filling order book, and impressive growth. VC funding is there for one purpose only, and the model is very rigid. It's there to scale a successful, high-performing business. However, many venture capital firms will invest at an earlier stage, but their model of looking for purely financial and very large financial returns in a short time frame make it a high risk type of funding to get involved in until the last possible moment. The sources of funding that are available for your innovation will vary dramatically depending on whereabouts in the world you are. So this is intended as a rough guide to help you consider the different stages that can typically be involved in growing your innovation and growing your startup company. You can see by the size and scale of the arrows, there is more funding available at both ends of the technology readiness level scale, both sides of the value of death. This is why I founded PBM Consulting to help more science and technology companies make their impact in the world. This lack of funding shows why having the right fundraising strategy is key to successfully growing an innovative business. To provide help with this, my driven program helps founders to develop a winning fundraising strategy for their company. To find out more, comment Driven on this post, visit this link, or scan this QR code 